Hello and welcome to the second Bavika lesson. I'm going to go over pronouns, classes, and cases in this video. In Bavika, gendered pronouns are based on hair or eye color, not sex. And because of that, there is no word for man or woman in Bavika. Instead, we have tech both and geese both, hair person and eye person. Uh, also, there are 12 common third person pronouns instead of three that we have in English. There's Yawispe. Yawitake, senispe, gotake, hovispe, hotak, utake, pekispe, dotak, wellispe, bume, and kel. Uh, bume is the genderless pronoun, and it can be used for anyone uh, if you're not sure of their pronoun. Um, and also, some people prefer to use bume as their main pronoun. Um, and kel is used for inanimate objects. Uh, the rest of the absolutive pronouns are uh, ya, which is I, polite, uh, besi, which is I, impolite, yane, you, pike, we, polite, palte, we, impolite, vegane, you, sumkotake, they, blonde people. Uh, you can also extend this to all of the other third person pronouns, so sum uh, yawispe some yawitake, some senisve, and so on. Uh, and then hal, which is they plural. Uh, in Bolvika, there are two noun classes, animate class and inanimate class. Uh, typically, you can just use logic to guess uh, which class a noun belongs to, but there are some exceptions. Um, Religious or culturally significant nouns, such as sukteti and imenele, uh, tend to be animate. Um, also, uh, plants, machines, fungus, and personally significant nouns are always considered in it, um, are animate. They're always considered animate, sorry. <laughs> like krekmeni, which means mature mushroom. It's uh, animate because it's fungus. Um, everything else that it doesn't doesn't fit in those exceptions uh, or isn't inherently animate will be inanimate. Um, also, all pronouns except for kel and house belong to the animate noun class, and proper nouns belong to the inanimate noun class, unless in the genitive case. Moving on to the Bodhvika case system. We have seven cases in Bodhvika. Absolutive, the, which marks the direct object and intransitive subject. The ergative case, which marks the transitive subject. The dative case, which marks the indirect object. Uh, the genitive case, which marks possession. The instrumental case, which marks what was used to complete the action. The locative case, which marks where the uh, action took place and the vocative case, which marks who the sentence is being spoken to. Um, luckily, pronouns don't have an instrumental case. Sorry that I'm going back and forth. <laughs> uh, ergative pronouns. Yat, besit, yont, gotakit, punt, salt, pico, halte, begont, simgotakit, Halset. Dative pronouns: yev, bev, yav, kotakit, booth, salt, pikav, hav, vegonav, smkotakav, haltov. Genitive pronouns: yakiv, besik, yonik, kotak, sorry, kotak, bumik, selv, pikik, haltik, vegonik. Sumkotakik, Haltuf, Vakative pronouns, Hegav, Hebes, Hyon, Hegotak, Hebum, Heger, Hepik, Heal, Hegon, Hesumkotak, and Hells. And for the example sentences, we have Hyon, Kotakiv, Halset, Gav, Kiv. Bad see you. Sorry, that was very choppy. Yon, kota kiv hal sed gav kiv bad see you. Hey you, they caused me to fight with the blonde person. 
Här som går tack. Pika att gå tackigt sig och pinga av ju. Hej blond people. The blond person didn't give it to us. Här som går tack. Pika att gå tackigt sig och pinga av ju. All right. That's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. If you want more of both of these videos, comment down below and subscribe so you don't miss one.